My name is Juan Ortiz, and my group members are Gabriela Silva and Oriana Castillo. And our presentation is on juvenile rehabilitation. In the interview with Zachary Akers, we learned that rehabilitation for juveniles in the Santa Clara County Juvenile Hall has its challenges and needs improvement. This is important because studies have shown that the effectiveness of rehabilitation influences the likelihood that a juvenile will recidivate. When asked what the biggest contemporary issue with the agency is having, Zachary stated that it was a concept of rehabilitating juveniles. The mission statement of the Santa Clara County Probation Department was to reduce and protect community through prevention, supervision services, and care for adult and juveniles. They are also committed to building partnerships, restoring losses, and holding offenders accountable. Although the department strives to rehabilitate all juveniles, group counselors and staff are restricted in what they are allowed to do. They are not given enough resources or opportunities to really make a change in the juveniles. Zachary told us that one of the biggest, one of the things that I disagree with the most is the fact that we are not allowed to keep in touch with any of the juveniles after they are released. The department has a rule stating that staff are not to keep in contact with juveniles after they are released. This makes it hard because the few juveniles that do wish to be rehabilitated look at staff as mentors and seek their guidance. Oftentimes, juveniles form a bond with staff. When they are released, they attempt to stay on the right path. However, they need guidance and consequently attempt to reach out to staff. Unfortunately, the staff must ignore them. Another big issue Zachary discusses is that he feels that juveniles are more enticed to stay in juvenile hall than to stay on the outside. Zachary told us they have more provided for them in juvenile hall than in the outside world. Here they are given a roof over their head, three square, square meals, and recreational time. They are even able to play, play PlayStation and Xbox in the hall. These are commodities that they may not have outside of the hall. Zachary also mentioned that the juveniles have a sort of system in the hall. They have hierarchy and genuinely build friendships that they value sometimes more than their own family relationships. One of the leading reasons that juveniles end up in juvenile hall is an unstable life at home. An unstable life is a huge con contributor to juvenile detention. They often do not receive the attention they need from their own family and friends, yet they receive it from other juveniles in the hall. A program that could provide counseling and guidance after the juveniles are released could be very beneficial to the recidivism rate. We would see a lot more juveniles stay out of detention. So how can we determine what type of rehabilitation to utilize and whether it is effective? By looking at the research. The Lipsy's meta-analysis on rehabilitation. The pur purpose is to examine effectiveness of the programs that are used for juvenile delinquency. And the statistics of the studies that have been examined, the more effective ones had lower rates of recidivism. Only 32 to 38 percent of juveniles in rehabilitation programs recidivate, whereas 50 percent of juveniles who did not receive rehabilitation services recidivated. Spend more time with kids and have more meaningful contact. Research was inspired and designed by a researcher and offers several modes of treatment such as behavior and skill oriented. These were the programs that were the most effective in Lipsy's conclusion. How can the Santa Clara County Juvenile Hall utilize this information? They already do. Santa Clara, Santa Clara County Juvenile Hall Reentry Services. They focus on the youth reentering the community and the support they may receive. The mission is to reduce recidivism. 
by using evidence-based practices and implementing a seamless system of services, supports, and supervision. Using the programs that are available to reduce the chances of juveniles reoffending. The RSU services here are a couple services that are listed and referral to community service such as education, employment, family reunification, legal services, and vocational training. RSU programs. Probation AB 109 intake and assessment is probation officers and support staff at the reentry resource center assess clients' needs, identify resources, and contact client to support services. That is the number provided. The faith based resource center or FBRC. The faith based collaborative and faith-based resource centers are programs of the Behavioral Health, Cent Health Department developed to offer hope, compassion, forgiveness, and trust, and accountability together with immediate and long-term resource. What else can be done? Don't lose re the report. Zachary mentioned that some departments prohibit further contact with kids once they have been released. Given the information we looked at, maybe it would be more effective to allow counselors to stay in touch with their kids since they already have built report. Thank you. I'm in the force. Be with you in your finals.